Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, please remember that even though I did work as a master technician for a dealership for 17 years, I'm currently not in any way affiliated with any automotive manufacturer. All opinions expressed in this video are my own and any and all trademarks are the property of their respective owners. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the hybrid transmission fluid on this 2023 Toyota Sienna. You'll need to uh, lift the vehicle up and keep it fairly parallel to the ground. You don't want it to be with, let's say, the front wheels on ramps and the back on the ground because uh, you won't be able to set the fluid level correctly. So here is the one lift point. So anywhere along this pinch weld, you can lift it up and then make sure you use a jack stand. Don't only you rely on a jack to keep you safe because those things can sometimes fall out or collapse and kill you. So lift it up evenly on all four corners and uh, use jack stands to hold it. And then in the rear, we have the same setup. So that's where you're gonna lift it up by. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is remove this big shield right here. So it's held on by some uh, screws and some clips. Let's get the screws or bolts out first. They're uh, 10 millimeter heads here. So. Or I think that's probably enough. Uh, the manual tells you to take this whole shield off, but I think that's not necessary. So let's just get all these clips out. And uh, to get them out, you just get your trim tool or flat blade screwdriver under the edge and then uh, lift them up. Now that those uh, six clips are out, let's get these screws out in the back. One and two, and this cover will come out. There we go. And there is our uh, hybrid uh, transmission or transaxle. Now you can locate the drain plug and the fill plug right there. It's always a good idea to open the fill plug first because if you drain the unit and you can't open the fill plug for whatever reason, um, you won't be able to fill it very easily. So we just use the 10 millimeter Allen key there uh, to crack it open and uh, let's open it up. Now, uh, in some cases, some fluid may come out. Uh, let's see if that's our case or not. No, we have nothing coming out, so that's good. Um, okay, now let's proceed to opening the drain plug. It's also open using a 10 millimeter Allen key socket. Okay, there we go. Now let's get a suitable container and um, open the drain plug up and drain the fluid out. Now, um, wait until the fluid flow slows down to a, a drip or a small trickle. And after that, we'll be able to reinstall the drain plug with a new gasket. And uh, check below the video for links to new gaskets, new fluid, and uh, any tools that you may need to do this job. Now that the fluid has all drained out, we can reinstall the drain plug. Uh, so grab the... Uh, drain plug right here and uh, remove the aluminum gasket from it and uh, replace it with a new one. So install the new gasket uh, and then reinstall the plug. Now with these uh, transmissions, the temperature at which you do this service is not very important. Unlike other Toyota transmissions, they use the overflow style system on these hybrids, you know, do it at room temperature. I think that's fine. And now, uh, Snug this uh, drain plug up and then torque it to 37 foot-pounds or, uh, you know, fairly tight. Okay, that's good. Uh, now let's uh, fill the transmission up. You'll need uh, four quarts of uh, transmission fluid. I personally only use the Lexus slash Toyota WS transmission fluid. I don't want to mess around with anything aftermarket. Transmission fluid's pretty inexpensive. Um, and other than that, you will need a 
pump of some sort. So you can check for the links below the video for the pump that I uh, used at the shop. And uh, let's uh, throw some fluid in there and uh, get going. All right, let's uh, get our uh, pump over here and uh, start pumping. So just uh, fill it nice and steady until it starts overflowing out of the fill hole. The spec on it is between zero and 10 millimeters, which is about three eighths of an inch below the, the hole. Uh, just, I always fill it until it's full and uh, just uh, don't uh, pump it too fast because then it can start shooting back out of the hole and it's gonna spill all over the place. So take it easy and have a drain pan underneath to catch it. Well, let's start filling it. It looks like uh, it's full. Let's get the hose out. Oh, no, maybe not yet. Okay, looks like the assembly is full. Let's get the hose out and uh, just let the excess fluid drain out into uh, the uh, oil catch can that you were using earlier. Once the fluid flow slows down to a drip or a tiny trickle, grab your uh, fill plug, remove the old gasket from it, and then grab the new one, uh, install it, and then uh, you can go ahead and reinstall the fill plug as well. So on these transmissions, um, if you're replacing the transmission itself or the oil cooler or some lines, then you should run it after and just settle the fluid level. If you're just doing a replacement of the fluid, you don't need to run it and then check the fluid level. And now we can tighten this uh, fill to 37 foot pounds. Good. Let's wipe up any mess here. So we don't end up with a stain on the driveway. And you can use some brake and parts cleaner to just uh, clean off any of the oil. It's really good at uh, washing it out of there. I'll spend some time just to clean out any of the little crevices where the oil might be hiding. Otherwise, uh, you might see a bit of a spot under the vehicle the next day and make sure it's all clean and the drain area as well and wipe it off and then uh, we can reinstall that uh, shield that we removed earlier let's get this shield back under where it's supposed to go so it gets inserted under this uh, front one and then reinstall the six plastic clips uh, push them until they're flush Now reinstall the screws in the back. So these are the screws right here. You can see the thread on them. And then these are the bolts. You've got four bolts with a fine thread and you've got uh, two screws with a coarse thread. The screws go in the back here, one here and one there. Now they go into plastic grommets. So you don't wanna over tighten them. it will just damage them. And once it stops, you can just uh, make sure it's snugged up by hand and that's good enough. And then you have uh, these four bolts in the front. These two are uh, easy to get to. The other two are sort of in these recessed holes. So uh, it's probably best not to get them in there and start them with an the impact gun because that way it's easy to cross thread them. Just start them by hand. That makes sure that uh, the threads engage properly. And then once they do, then you can spin them in with a gun. 
And don't, uh, don't go crazy on these ones either. The spec on them is uh, <clears throat> 66 inch pounds, which is five and a half foot pounds. You don't really have to torque them. Just make sure they're all tight and they're not gonna fall off. Now we can uh, lower the vehicle down. After you lower the vehicle back down, you can take it for a drive and uh, check for any leaks afterwards. And while there is no official uh, recommendation for the interval of replacement for the fluid, I personally will replace it every 60,000 miles or 96,000 kilometers on my vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more Toyota Sienna maintenance and repair videos. See you next time. Cheers.